What's up? It's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then what's up? Today's video is going to be a mouth watering type of video. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three easy DIY, maybe slightly healthy, depending on the ingredients that you use, popsicles for summer. Yeah, we're going to be doing three popsicles. We're going to be making a virgin pina colada, you know, has to be virgin depending on your age. A strawberry kiwi lemon popsicle and a grape popsicle. I'm going to stop talking and let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, so this first popsicle is going to be a grape popsicle. So you're just going to need popsicle molds. I got mine at Target. You're going to need grapes and you're going to need grape juice. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting my grapes in half and I'm placing them inside the popsicle molds and now I'm just pouring in the juice. Now I'm just pouring some more grapes just so it can have a really cool effect. And now I'm just closing it and as you can see the grapes move around inside so it's super awesome. Next up is a strawberry kiwi lime popsicle. I'm just cutting a few lime slices and I'm going to place that inside my popsicle molds. And basically, I'm just going to take strawberry kiwi snapple. If you want it to be healthier, you can, you know, make your own strawberry kiwi juice. But I just took the snapple just because I'm super lazy and it's just simple. And I'm pouring that in and honestly guys, this tastes amazing. Okay, now for my absolute favorite popsicle. This just tastes like heaven and summer. It's a little less healthier, but it's still amazing. So I'm just taking my pineapple slices that my mom pre-cut for me already, and I'm taking cream of coconut. This stuff is amazing. As I said, it's not as healthy as the other ones, but this is just if you want to, you know, splurge on yourself a little bit, I guess. And now I'm just taking it in my Ninja Bullet, and now I'm just... Blending that together and I'm pouring that into the popsicle molds. Pretty self-explanatory. So now that all of my popsicle molds are filled, I'm going to place that in the freezer for a few hours. Left mine in overnight and that's it. You're done with all of your popsicles. Super simple and easy. So you've made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And in the comments down below, let me know what's the weirdest popsicle you can come up with. You know, like a mashed potato popsicle, a... I don't know. Let me know what's your craziest popsicle idea down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.